CSD Towerus 2. On behalf of Vascalis, the master and the crew of this cut and suction dredger, I bid you a very warm welcome and hope that your visit today will be a safe and pleasant one. The CSD Towerus 2 is a restricted working area, which means that you will have to understand and comply with some important safety issues before you actually start to move around the vessel. Just bear in mind that whenever you're outside the accommodation area, you must be accompanied by a crew member. Without further ado, let's get you acquainted with those important safety issues to help make your trip today a safe and pleasant one. When you came on board and signed the visitor's log, you would have been given a visitor's pass. Well, take a moment to have a close look at this pass. In the unlikely event there is an emergency and you hear this emergency signal. You will be escorted to the muster station immediately. Do not run and be prepared to follow up on orders given to you. Muster Station is a safe area outside the accommodation where crew and visitors gather in the event of an emergency. Whenever you go on deck outside the accommodation area, for example, to the engine room, you must have your basic PPE on. PPE stands for Personal Protection Equipment. You could be advised by the master or crew member escorting you to have additional PPE on. The minimum PPE required outside the accommodation of the Towers 2 involves you having your helmet on, your safety glasses and, of course, your safety shoes. deck, you will find designated walkways that are painted yellow. Please follow these as much as you can in order to avoid slipping or tripping. Separate tripping hazards are also painted in a conspicuous colour. Another possible tripping hazard is the crane track. Whenever you have to cross the crane track, please do so with extreme caution and try to hold on to the superstructure or anything around you that will give you support. Also, please do not attempt to pass between the crane and the accommodation. The CSD Towers 2 is a restricted area and within it there are zones where even the vessel's own crew are not allowed to go during dredging operations. Some examples of these areas are the ladder, the immediate vicinity of winches and steel wires, and the restricted area near the spuds. Never attempt to enter these areas as they could be dangerous. The Towers 2 is equipped with a traveling deck crane. While the crane operator does his best to keep a lookout, it's not always possible for him to keep an eye on all sides of the crane. Because of that, there are emergency stop wires and emergency stop buttons all around the crane's boogie. Here is how you operate the stop wire and here is how you activate the stop button. The pump room and engine room are high noise level areas. At the entry point of these areas, you will find a dispenser with earplugs. Take some and make sure you wear them. Your escort will be more than happy to demonstrate how to put them on. 
If you're a subcontractor and you have to do some work on board this vessel, please note that there are some additional safety requirements that you have to understand and comply with. These requirements are outlined in our NINA policy. NINA stands for No Injuries, No Accidents and is the mandatory safety guideline for all Vascalis employees and subcontractors. The NINA rules require all subcontractors to have the risks of their work being assessed to obtain work permits for high-risk activities and make a job hazard analysis for non-routine activities. Subcontractors will have a toolbox session to get informed about the existing risk and control measures. The crew will help you to fill out the Boscalis standard JHAs and permits to work. Subcontractors must be fit for duty and wear the required PPE at all times. We're almost there. One last point of attention. After your visit, you will be requested to sign the visitor's book again and to return the visitor's pass. On your way to the launch boat, you will be escorted by the captain or one of his crew members. Before stepping over to the launch boat, please observe the following. Don your life jacket and make sure you wear your PPE. Before you are allowed to go down the stairs, the launch boat has to be properly secured alongside the fendering. The launch skipper or his assistant will give a signal when it's safe to go down. Hold on to the handrail and watch your step when you go down. Never attempt to step over when there is no assistance at hand. On behalf of Boscalis, the master and the towers crew, Thank you very much for your visit and have a safe trip back to land.